11.32 p.m. Concern grows. The medical staff assembles. The other thing is maybe he's had trauma. He's a chronic alcoholic. Did you do a spinal tap? I haven't done one yet. Are there any signs on the outside of the skull? Trauma? Nothing that we could see now. He had a couple of abrasions on his body. How about his funda? Any papilledema? Yeah, I had marked papilledema. I had mark we knew this. Had he had this on admission? Yeah, and he had unequal pupils, too. No, and not before, just now. Any just now. Any history of trauma? We don't know. He's comatose. We had nothing, you know, other Nobody than... Nobody with him at all? Nothing, no one with him at all. So, so what do you want to do now? I think we had a tap. Okay. A spinal tap will tell if there is bleeding inside the skull. Yeah, I just can't seem to get that needle in. Look, I can't get it in either. I think you better call a neurologist. I think Dr. Rowe's on to you. religion is. I think we probably better call all the chaplains. Will you page all chaplains, please? Lawrence Wood. Wonderful. Yamale Rakhmi Malov, La Klimo, La Posa, La Ziko, La Pioso, the Ishla Klo Mehedo, the Fu Shlema Mena Shamayim, the Ramape Vorova Shiso Gido, the So Shio Hole, Yisrael, the Fu Sanefe Shifu Sako, Ashto Bagola, Ubisman Khorib, the Nomar Ome. To the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. Now, under God's gracious mercy and protection, we commend you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine. He dies and uh, kind of, a, or, you know, in spite of of everything that we could do. Kind of just a, a hopeless feeling of just inadequacy. I don't know, just of falling short. We did everything that, that we could that was, um, that was reasonable. And it probably just wasn't enough. And we didn't uh, have enough information or we couldn't get it or, or And so he dies. Day begins. Ward rounds is the time we set aside usually to to see patients at least once a day um, at a designated time and to go around and see what new problems have arisen. And I think patients are interested in in at least hearing from their doctor once a day uh, how things are going, uh, what little problems they have that trivial though they may seem are very important to them in a, in a hospital existence. Beefy red. This is Mr. Alderati. How are you? Good. No chest pain. 
nothing at all. Feel fine. Yeah. So far, things look good. Uh, yeah, we're a little concerned, but uh, your other tests are so far normal. We're going to have to follow them for a while to be sure. Okay, we want to up his x-rays. Okay? Yeah. Right. He's got some interesting films, too. Did you tell him you don't know? Huh? Oh, this is Mr. Cobb. Get his chart. Mr. Cobb, do you want to try using this thing for us now? Let's just see how you're using this, all right? You got anything in it? No, I've no, got to get it out of here. Out of no. mind. Just try a little water. You want the... Yeah, have you got a dropper? I got everything. You got half the hospital pharmacy in here, I'm yeah, sure. That's what I say. If you need anything, just let me know. For short, anything over here, what? Some patients are seriously ill. This man is kept alive by electric shocks from this machine cardiac pacemaker. He was like this only for about in the space of 15 minutes. He had 19 shocks. We had him on it's we're trying to figure out it's related to his K. When his K goes up, he goes into heart block. When it's no something in between here, then he gets That's up. six seconds all the way across. Right. PM, outpatient clinic. Those who are not ill enough to be hospitalized come and pay the doctor a visit. Sometimes I get bad headaches, doctor. And um, uh, hot flushes, but uh, I haven't been bothered with them very much just lately. You know, since I've been taking the tablet. I, I have been bothered with high blood pressure, doctor. Do you have any idea how high your blood pressure is? Let's see how high it is. Because it's down. Yeah, it's, it's down 40 points, down 110. So that's a whole lot better than, yes. than a, if it's been up as high as 150 in the past. Mm -hmm. Fine. Good. If you have enough, then we won't have to renew your prescription, and we'll see you in a week. Then, yes, right? thank you. Fine. Bye. Bye now. Not every moment in Dr. Mulder's day is a serious one. Mr. Chen, do you want to come in here, please? Hi, I'm Dr. Mulder. Can you tell me very briefly what your trouble is? Oh, I show you this. <coughs> Maybe you can tell me about it. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Uh, Just very quickly, what, what's troubling you? Uh, I don't understand to talk. I talk so sick. How come you're in clinic this afternoon? How are you sick? Huh? How are you sick? I'm sick as uh, I can't talk. But the English, that, that's sick. That's your problem? You can't speak English? <laughs> Is that why you come to clinic? Yeah. But, uh, I don't know how to talk that language for you. You know? Do you have a note or something? Huh? Do you have a note or something? What's wrong? Why are you here? Now I got old lady. Got old lady, no more sick now. Okay. Fine. Um, why don't you, there's another doctor down here from First Medical Clinic who wants to take a look at you. I see his name down here now. Would you like to go see him? And he'll take a quick look at you and talk to you, all right? Yeah. Why don't you come with me? Yeah. 